What's up you guys? Today we are going to review Ahab Predator finally. So uh come along and uh hang out with me for this toy review. <laughs> Take a look at the box, shall we? You got this awesome cover art from the comic Ahab Ultimate Edition. Predator on the side, and it's got little comic strips in there that you can kind of see. It's Ahab. Very cool. Back as seen. In the Fire and Stone comic book series, Predator Ahab. 30 plus points of articulation, fabric cape. Look at him killing the engineer right there. Engineer trophy skull. Got him all suited up. The engineer gun. And swappable gauntlets. Very cool. Bottom, all that spiel. I didn't show the top. Show the top. Well, here, I'll show the side. There's the side with him killing the big centipede thing. Pretty awesome. Here's the top. It's got the cover art. And open him up. Got this awesome uh, photograph. Very cool. And here he is. Got the helmet right there. And all the different hands. Very cool. I've already opened him, so I swapped the gauntlets out. He's got the three, three blade gauntlet on. But uh, let's take him out of the box and uh, let's take a look at him, shall we? All right, and here he is out of the box with all of his extra accessories and parts. Let's check him out. Let's uh, look at his head sculpt first. I love the head sculpt on this. He's missing the mandible in the comic, and he's missing an eye in the comic. He gets stabbed, uh, loses the eye and stuff. But of course, he kills. Thing that took sight. I like his uh, his pred dreads. Very cool. They're like longer than normal. You know, they ain't got all the little beads in them and stuff. He's got his little little necklace here. It's a skull. It's got like, I noticed this little detail. It's got these yellow ass teeth. It's pretty cool. Uh, back, he's got his cape. It's like a velvety kind of material. He's got his little hair tie. The detail so cool on that <clears throat> more pred dreads and, uh, he's got his claws here uh, of course like I said I put the three on Ching. very cool they come off pretty easy you pop them off like this Poop. just put this two on here oh, oh. There it goes. Pop. Just kind of they go in and out. Pretty easy. I wish uh, I wish they would do some stuff like this with Wolverine again, like they did from like the Toy Biz, where he had the little thing on his arm. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, this one's paint app. It's pretty cool. He's got the scar on his head. I guess this is tribe marking. Paint app's pretty cool. I do uh, wish that they would have hit that with a little bit of black. Right there, a little bit of darkness in his eye would have been cool. I've seen people customize it and do that and cut a little bit of the overhang off. Got the hands, I like the little sculpt you got. Let's see, you got his little uh, th the detonator doesn't have any markings on it, but it does open and close. Very cool. He's got his uh jungle hunter-esque armor it's very similar to the jungle hunter armor 
the tubes here, I like these little tubes. They will pop off though, so be careful. My jungle hunters on his chest popped off of his chest a little bit. He's got his uh little uh loin clothy thing here, cod piece. Got the side armor there, it's pretty cool. Oh yeah, well in the back, yeah, you can see the that's where you snap on. Right here is where you snap on the uh the the shoulder plasma cannon and right here there's a little thing where you can put the this uh engineer gun on his back. It's pretty cool. It's hard to get him to hold the engineer gun. You gotta kinda just like set it in his hands a certain way. You know, he's got the little the little bones right here, the furry butt butt cover, little predator butt down there. <laughs> Get uh, there's the side again. He's got his his leg armor is pretty cool. Like the the detail there with the leather strap around the leg, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, the netting is actually painted pretty decent. I know I've seen some where it's like way off and looks really bad. But yeah, his uh, and you got his, his predator feet. Little, little tootsies there it's pretty cool i wish uh i wish they had that that toe bend in the middle like the the aliens do the xenomorphs but uh yeah as far as articulation um this arm doesn't go up they don't go up very high all the way around full swivel got you with a salute and uh this it spins all the way around, I do believe, yep. And, you know, his hands, I like that their hands uh, they bend at the wrist. I think that's a great feature for any figure. <clears throat> Come on, boy. No. This arm doesn't go up very high either. This one probably will go a little bit higher. I just, I'm always afraid to pop these, man. His arm does the same. He doesn't have that same uh, range of swivel as the other one because of his armor. Kind of bends right there when you start messing with it too much. I don't want to mess nothing up. But, uh, yeah, the joints are painted really good and stuff on this one. I've seen ones where they're not painted so good. I guess it's just a reprint thing or whatever. I'm not sure. He's, of course, got the... Uh, a little bit of bend right there. His head, look up a little bit. Not much, look down. Not much range in the predator looking up and down heads. They can look at you though. Huh, huh, what you talking boy? And uh, <laughs> of course got the double knee. Kick himself in the booty, almost. Very cool. The hips, they go out pretty far. I always like the good crouch pose. <clears throat> and uh, of course, the we got the ankle pivot back and forth. Goes pretty much all the way around. Pretty cool. So, yeah. All right, next, let's uh, take a look at the uh, accessories that come with him. All his, uh, his cool little neat stuff. First, you got, of course, the shoulder cannon, the old plasma cannon. It, uh, it sits up, but it falls right down. These, uh, if anybody knows how to fix that, because my, my, yeah, look at that. It's just, yeah, you don't even have to, boop, and it just falls, man. Um, if you can fix that some way, let me know. Also, it, uh, it looks left and right. Turn the cannon, this little, watch me break it. Turn left and right there. But, yeah, if, uh. I don't know if you can see it, but oh my god, it is so just a tiny little piece of plastic in there, and it's just so flimsy. Like, there should be a way to make that better. But, uh, yeah, got gotcha. you sculpt your little wire there. It's pretty cool. I always love the different de the designs of all the Predator stuff. So cool. Next, we'll look at the mask. I like the mask. It's uh, 
It's very cool. I like the sculpt on this. It's got the, the tubes on the side and stuff for breathing and whatnot. It's got the, the scrape right here. I guess where we got stabbed. It's got the spikes up here. It's pretty cool. It's open for his mouth and whatnot. Side view there. And, uh, I like the inside. The detail on the inside is so cool. The red eyes, I like the predator, I like the outline of the Alja skull there. Fits on him really good too. Um, here, I go ahead and put it on him. I think it fits on him really good. I love this mask. I think that they should do this with more predators. The more of these figures, a lot of people would disagree, and they like the other heads. But uh, yeah. It's great, man. People complain about like, oh, you can't pose and look at that. It stays on pretty good to me. As long as you put it on right and it doesn't look bad. There's like a little gap, but for the most part, it's it's awesome. Of course, you got the uh, the disc, the little throw disc there. It's pretty cool. And uh, I'll go ahead and here's the hand that it fits on. Go ahead and put that as, put this out this way. Yeah, if you can tell, there's a like a handprint right there. Like it looks like a handprint. And this hand goes right in there. That's how he holds it like that. It's very cool. I like that. I think that's a cool little uh little thing. I think that's awesome. <laughs> then we got the three claws. He uh he count he comes with the two claws like a typical uh predator but i love the three claws because wolverine is my favorite marvel character and uh i think the three claws yeah oh well and see yeah it just slides out you know it's, whatever it's pretty cool three claws. i uh i like to I like to take pictures and put them on Inst on my instagram and stuff and uh thinking about doing a couple things with the uh, predator wolverine i think that would be kind of cool like a crossover kind of versus thing and then we got his spear his spear uh it's it's very cool but it is a little uh it's a little flimsy especially towards the bottom there it's it's it'll it'll bend but i'm afraid i, I don't want to break it but yeah his spear is very awesome it's not like the combi stick like most of them it's like an actual spear because, I mean, you know, he is Ahab, right? Look at that. Shing! Got the shine going on. That's that's a cool shot, huh? And then we'll take a look at the engineer gun. Uh, very cool. Very, very Giger-esque. Um, Biomechanical looking gun. You know, it's pretty cool. It's a little bent right here. I need a heat gun so I can bend it back. It's like... <laughs> But yeah, it's very cool. And now his uh, his trophy for killing the engineer, the engineer skull. This skull is massive. Uh, it is so freaking huge compared to like the regular ones that come with the the predators. Uh, hang on, I'll go grab one. Yeah, like here's a regular one, and this is the <laughs> yeah, that's the engineer skull. Like that is a massive difference there. Uh, yeah boom, 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 boom. all right uh let's uh let's get him suited up and check him out you know just uh kind of put a couple things give him the spear and put his thing on and we'll uh see how he looks and there he is guys ready for war ready for the next hunt ready to find that next white whale i will say this um there is one thing i want to i want to bring up Whenever I bought him, uh, he had sh he had these little straps that were holding him in. They weren't the twist ties; they were little straps. Uh, he had one around his waist, like in. Oops, okay, yeah, you can put drop that inside of his waist right here, and it kind of separated him. Like I don't know, you can't really see the gap there. You kind of can, but it separated him, and uh, it's not really a big deal. But uh, yeah, like. I don't know. I feel like that's something that maybe they shouldn't be doing. I mean, I understand they don't want people to steal their stuff, but yeah, that's just, you know, food for thought. That's all. Well, guys, that was my review of NECA's Ahab 
Predator Ultimate Edition. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. Uh, let me know what you thought. You know, if, uh, if tell me what I'm doing wrong. You know, tell me if I can do something better. Uh, subscribe if you're new. You know, we, we're trying to get to 100 subscribers. At 100 subscribers, we're giving away this guy right here. Um, not this exact one. I've got a different one. He's over there. And he is unopened, not touched. And, uh, yeah. So, y'all, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Share it. You know, help us get to 100. We are right now, we are 82. We are 18 away. That is so awesome, you guys. So close to 100 and being able to give this away. So until next time, you guys, onward and upward.